Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to my Twisted Life and TV. I am Poetry. You are here for a random ride home video. We're gonna get a little patty today, just a little bit patty, just a little bit patty. Um, I'm getting off a little bit earlier than I have the past couple days. The past couple days, I haven't been getting home till almost seven, eight o'clock at night, and it's 5 15 right now, and I'm on my way home. So, I figure, you know what? Um, uh, since I have uh, since the videos have been delayed due to my work schedule, I figured I need to give y'all something. So we just gonna have some fun. Um, I'm gonna make up some random ass questions and I want y'all to answer them. <laughs> this ain't no truth to dare. Um, but just, 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 it's fun. Like, let's, I said, I'm, it's called Let's Get Petty because I'm starting off with a petty conversation. Um, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, feel free to go ahead and do so. Um, this is a variety channel. We watch TV and review and recap the TV shows, a lot of different genres. Um, I talk about my life on Travel and Talk Tuesday. You may get a random ride to work or a random ride at home. And that's where I just talk about anything. P and TV, Poetry Snoops and Twisted Views. Uh, where I talk about stuff that's going on with the t uh, movie industry, film industry, and what's happening on TV. And sometimes what's happening in the news specifically. But other than that, you know what I'm saying? So, if you like any of that type of stuff, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Turn on your notification bell so that way you can be notified when all the videos that I put up on this channel are there. All right, let's get into this pettiness, right? So my friend, she posted on her Facebook page. Uh, she has a thread going, asking, "What is the pettiest thing, or the pettiest reason that you ever ended a relationship with someone?" Okay, <laughs> I have to laugh at my reason because it was my ex-husband, and now I'm gonna tell y'all, I didn't get divorced like right then, but I knew. At, the, at this very moment, this was the end of our relationship. I knew at this very moment. I saw his feet, and I knew he had ugly feet, okay? that was I, I was able to tolerate that because I loved that man. I did, right? He had to wear socks in the bed, but there's never, never here or there, right? Um, but after we got married, I went home and went home with him, and I met his family, my in-laws. And, you know, they was cool people, but they was real they was real comfortable in their own space. So they took they, they walked around with their shoes off a lot. And I noticed that their feet looked like his feet. At that moment, light bulb, boop, I realized this was a genetic trait. And I, I didn't want to be selfish. I didn't want to be cruel to my unborn child. I was not for to bring a baby into the world and subject him to having those feet. I knew the relationship was over then. I knew it was over. I, I swear, um, things went south for us real fast after I learned of this. We didn't stay together long. I, I, I signed up and went overseas to Japan. And then, you know, then all of our other problems came that actually made me forced a uh, divorce head, but I was separating myself from them feet, baby. I, t I started taking a pill, y'all. I did, so I wouldn't get pregnant before I actually left the country. I just, because I'm, no, mm-mm. Oh my God, that's the hot water. That's the hot water. <laughs> I, need, I need some water with some cool temperature. That would have to burn my throat. That's what I get for being petty and shit. <laughs> but that is like one of my petty reasons. So y'all drop in the comment section what's the pettiest reason that you have ever ended a relationship with someone. If I had to think of another person that was just a petty reason. I can't think of no other petty reasons that I ended a relationship with somebody else. Now I could think of uh, some justified reasons. A, more, a shocking justified reason if you got a shocking justified reason of why you ended a relationship with somebody and I'm not talking about something like cheating just something that like was like what the what happened girl like something that you don't expect to happen I'm, so, so, unfortunately cheating is kind of commonplace unless you just didn't know that your significant other was you no know, not heterosexual and you walked in on them that's a shocking moment you can drop that in the comment section okay so my shocking reason why I broke up with somebody was um, my ex-boyfriend I'm gonna just call him Mo he uh I'm fucking Maurice my ex-boyfriend Maurice he invited me to his family reunion okay I went out to this family reunion and I start seeing familiar faces and that's my cousin that's my auntie that's my 
baby. Maurice was my goddamn cousin too. Or at least Maurice was cousins of my cousins. And I was like, okay, so there's two, there's a set of family in St. Louis called the Spears that live out in Perkwood. And there was two sets of family. I was related to both sets of Spears. I was related to one set of Spears by blood. I was related to the other set of Spears through marriage. I wasn't sure which side Maurice was kin to. All I knew we was related. And that relationship had an end. He was like, but we already been together. I don't care, bruh. It's over for me. I end that relationship. So, drop in the comment section your most shocking, justified reason of why you ended a relationship with somebody. I mean, you know, we just be a little, we just a little bit, be a little petty, a little bit petty. Okay, so like when I was in a relationship with my husband, um, I got mad at him. But I was still trying to be a good wife, right? So I still was cooking food. So I cooked a petty meal. So for this one, I want y'all to drop in the comment section what petty meal that you cook for somebody for whatever reason. Because you was mad at them, because you wanted to play a joke on them. Um, you wanted to get back at them. Uh, give me a petty, a petty meal. So I was mad at my husband and I didn't want to cook for him. So I, I called myself being petty. Made him a grilled cheese sandwich with no butter on the bread. And I kind of burnt the bread. And then I opened up a can of chili and just dumped the can of chili on top of it and fed it to him. Didn't eat the chili up, didn't season it, nothing. And that was dinner. You got it. Okay. And he ended up liking that shit. <laughs> That's how petty backfired on me. He liked it. He started requesting it. You know time after time again i'm thinking i made that meal because i was mad at you actually i didn't really really make nothing i burned some bread stuck some cheese in the middle of it and then i didn't even get the craft cheese i had that old borden's one that kind of don't even melt and then i opened up a can of chili and did not heat it up poured it on top of it and served it to him and he ended up liking that shit but that was my petty meal that i made now i got a friend um now he he did a petty meal it's not like no full seven course meal, nothing like that, no dinner, no snack. It was a snack. He did a petty meal at work. Every time he would, he would come in, he had some uh, brownies that he had made at work. And somebody kept eating his dog on brownies, right? So one day he made another batch of brownies and he put some ghost peppers in the brownies. Put some ghost peppers, y'all. Y'all know how hot fucking ghost peppers are? And then he made him a separate batch of regular brownies took them to work put the ghost pepper brownies where he normally would put his brownies at and then was walking around eating his regular brownies because nobody had came out yet nobody mouth was on fire or eyes was water or nothing he came out eating his regular brownies with his little cup of milk talking about how good it was and then within an hour the culprit who was stealing his brownies came out crying booty burning because he ate his doggone ghost pepper brownies baby he caught him he was like, that's what you get. That dude was on fire. He had to take off work the next day because his system was so messed up. Plus, he rubbed his eyes right after he did it. And then, it, so they burned his eyes. Brother was messed up. And, I, and then, on top of this how this how much karma got him back. He came, when he finally made it back to work, he filed a complaint with HR that somebody put ghost peppers in the food, right? However, ooh, the rain coming down. However, he was unaware that my friend had really filed a complaint that somebody was stealing his food. Bro, man, ghost pepper dude lost his job. Lost his job, y'all. But if y'all got a pet meal, woo! Another tropical storm is landing. Let me slow my butt down a little bit. But if y'all got another petty meal that y'all had made for somebody, Drop what y'all made and the reason why y'all made it in the comment section. Okay. Let's see what else. Uh, I also give me a reason or an excuse that you gave to get somebody out of your house or to get somebody out of the house. Like you had COVID over and you was ready for them to leave. The most typical one is like, woo, you look at the time. It's getting late. Like I have had somebody at my house who didn't seem like they want to leave right I went so far as to getting dressed putting on makeup 
putting on cologne, everything, walking out the house and getting in my car to pretend I was really leaving so these people could leave too. Now, this was the the the, the tee -hee -hee of it all. This fool came to the driveway with me. I'm sitting in my car. I, start to I thought I'm just gonna have to start the car up, y'all, and just sit there for a minute so they could pull off and go. No, this is one of the people that like to talk a lot. He sat there and wanted to have a conversation with me in the car. He wanted a full-on conversation with me in the driveway. I like, bro, I had to literally back up, hit reverse, and go around the block to make sure he had left so I could get back in my house and be in peace for the rest of the night. But if y'all had any reason like that, well, y'all had to give her like a, a whack excuse or make up an excuse or something that you had to do to either get people to leave your house, get them to get off the phone. And so you know, you get some people that you don't, just don't want to hang up. You're like, all right, talk to you later. All right, talk to you later. And then they keep going. Yeah, give me a reason or a petty reason when you gave somebody just so you can get off the phone because you was trying to talk to them. Oh, yes, or reason had a reason why you left a party early what you what's the reason that you gave the, the host uh, as to why you had to leave that party early i'm trying to think if i had a that have a party early reason sometimes like <laughs> sometimes we would uh, me and mocha we would be like at a party or dinner or whatever that we was really didn't want to be there any longer we would either call or text each other from inside the club. We could be sitting right next to each other. And then that person would be like, for real? What happened? Oh, no, no, no. I'm going to be there real quick. I'm, I'm, I'm on my way. I'm on my way. And then you tell them, I got to go, y'all. I had this an emergency. And they like, oh, what happened? I'll call you later and talk to you about it. And then, like, me or her might be riding with each other. We're like, well, I, is she leaving? I got to leave, too. So, yeah. So, we have made up. I had did some stuff like that. We did that before. Um... Or do y'all have a good reason? Have y'all ever had to get out of a ticket? And what would be the reason that you gave to get out of a ticket? Now, I actually have a legitimate one. Um, something happened to my Aunt Barbara, right? And I got the phone call from her apartment building that they had called the ambulance. And Aunt Barbara lived like around, a, if I go down my street, and where my street run out, her apartment complex was at the end of my street. So, it, but it was like a, you know, a little, little ways, maybe like five to 10 minutes to get there. So I left my street flying, like zoom, speed limit 20, I was doing 55. And for some reason, police was there. I don't know why the police was there. And I shot past this officer and now all of a sudden, I got a trail of them motherfuckers following me. They was on my ass. And I was really panicking. I wasn't stopping. Because I didn't know if I was about to pass away. And she had failed and hit her head, I believe it was the situation. And she had been falling a lot. You know, so I wasn't stopping. I have, I rolled my window down. I was telling the police, come on. Matter of fact, get in front of me and lead the way. You know what I'm saying? I need to get through here. We got all the way over to the dog on apartment complex. The police jumped out on my butt. And I was like, um, I have an emergency with my aunt. Y'all can lock me up later, but right now I'm gonna go in here and see what the heck shit was wrong with her. Find out if she okay, is she alive? And uh, he was like, uh, no, 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 ma'am. Put your hands up. I was like, sir, you can lock me up later. When I come back out of this building, you can lock me up. And he was like, next time just slow down. Don't be speeding. I say, look, I told y'all to come on. And I said, come on, follow me, come on. You know? But they let me go. They let me go. So I got out of the ticket that day, whatever. You know what I'm saying? Oh. Um, some other little pettiness, some other little pettiness. What's a petty gift that you ever gave someone or that you received? A gift that you thought was petty that you received? Um, <laughs> this would have to be for my mama. Oh my goodness, y'all. My mama had missed my birthday or missed Christmas. I can't remember which holiday it was. So she decided to give me gift cards that people had gave her. So I want to say it was Christmas. And so she gave me these gift cards that people had gave her uh, for Christmas, but she gave it to me for my birthday. People gave her, the, so it's a, I, believe this, I believe the holiday was Christmas. She didn't give me a Christmas gift. Somebody had gave her gift cards for Christmas. Um, but now it's my, it's my birthday, which is six months later, and she didn't have a gift for me. She had forgot all about it. So she decides to give me gift cards. 
three of them, if I'm not mistaken, she gave me three gift cards. Now, let me tell y'all, there was $1.87 total on each of these gift on, on the on the gift cards. All three gift cards combined, $1.86. I was in the store in Walmart with a full shopping cart full of stuff. Now, she had told me there was like $25 on one card. There was supposed to be $10 on another one. And then like $15 on another card. So, at least $50. I had a shopping cart full of stuff. Now, luckily, I was going to spend over 50 because I hate spending like 47 23 and then I ain't got, I can't spend the other $2 or some chump change or something else because I ain't buying nothing else in the store. So, I figured I was going to go ahead and you know, fill my basket up. I had a good goo gob. I hit a uh, pocket, a water pocket, and I didn't want to spin out. I had a good goo gob of stuff in my cart, so I was already to use my own debit card anyway. But I was so embarrassed. And I was like, so me and the lady was like, I said, she just gave me these cards. She said they was brand new. She said, no, nah, honey, ain't nothing on this card. Like, one of them had two cents on it. One of them had like $1.75. And then the other one had nine cents. A dollar and 86 cents. That's my most pettiest gift I ever received. And when I went back to tell her about it, she was like, arguing me about how much was on these cards. No, I just got I just checked the balance the other day. I know how much was on there the other day. But did I get another gift to replace this? No. Not at all. <laughs> not at all. Oh, let me think. What is one of the pettiest gifts I ever gave? Have I ever gave a petty gift? Oh, I did. This girl at work had halitosis y'all she had it really bad and i had her at secret santa man i hooked her up with some banaca you remember that banaca spray i had peppermint a, a new toothbrush hey it was one of them good those sonic ones you know what i'm saying one of them good ones i spent some money on that damn toothbrush some mint dental floss and what else was in there and some mouthwash the Listerine I got her a gold one you know that list that gold Listerine strong as mud that was her gift basket that was her secret Santa gift for me and the toothpaste I had the toothpaste to go in with the toothpaste it was one of it was baking soda their baking soda with, with peroxide toothpaste that stuff is just is strong. It's just it various. It's potent. You know what I'm saying? But it's supposed to get all the, the clean, all the nooks and crannies in your mouth. The girl breath was just, I don't know, it was something on her insides. It was like she ate ass every morning and came to work. I didn't know if she had a, a condition or something. But I was like, if you just gargle, motherfucker, just gargle just a little bit, then maybe we can get the day. I should have put some damn gum in there. Somebody had an accident. And they told they fall up. I should have put some damn gum in her so she could like last throughout the day. But them peppermints, I had them uh, peppermints, and I had Ricola. I put some Ricola in her. I know that's supposed to be like a cough medicine, but Ricola sometimes freshen your breath. It does. I'm just telling you. That's my most pettiest gift I ever gave. And by being a secret Santa, she didn't know who it was from. She didn't know who it was from. But that's all I got, y'all. So I want y'all to drop down in the com in the comment section <laughs> y'all responses to. I mean, y'all can respond to me. Y'all can talk about me real bad or how petty I've been or how petty I've done things I've perceived. If you had any other petty moments that you want to bring out, you put yours in the comment section. I'll see if I had one of those moments too. Oh, niggas, I can't think of anything else petty right now. Mm. Anything else petty I could pick up? I can't. So, y'all have a good one. I'll talk to y'all later. See y'all in the next video when I get home and actually be able to record and put the video up. All right. Peace.